on the second part of 8.2 here is we're going to be looking at equations, okay? Now, number seven, this first equation is very basic review from chapter two, okay? And then once we talk about that, we'll talk about what happens when we've got to take like an x times an x and how are we going to attack something like that, okay? So let's kind of review our, our equation solving skills first on number seven to make sure we remember what to do, okay? So what would be a good first step here on number seven? Ben, start us off. So oh, are you at number seven? Or, or the two, just the, just the two. The negative two? Yeah, the negative two. Yeah. All right. And what do you get when you distribute the negative two? Uh, negative two minus, or minus two. Good. Okay. Now, I distribute. Now, I'm just going to write down the rest of the problem. So I have a plus W, a 7 minus 4W. Okay? Now, when we talked about this back in Chapter 2, I drew a little wall, and I said, Step 1, distribute. Step 2, to do what? Does anybody remember? What do we do? Combine like terms. Good. Okay? So before we move things from side to side of my wall, we're going to clean up each side. Okay? So if I'm looking on this side, is there anything I can combine? Good, Quentin. The negative 2w and the w. Okay? So combine like terms. So what is negative 2w plus w? Negative 2w squared. No, no, no. We're not multiplying. Negative 1w. Negative 1w. Okay? Negative 1 to Only change the exponents when you're multiplying. Okay? Then we have a minus 2, 7 minus 4w. Is everybody okay so far? So distribute, combine like terms. Now we move things from side to side. Okay? So Emma, what would my next, what would be another step here we could do? Add the negative W over the 4W. Okay, good. So we'll add W over. So those W should cancel. And we get negative 2 equals 7 minus 3W. Okay? All right. Kevin, what would we do next here? Subtract 7. Good. Subtract 7 over. So the 7s will cancel. Negative 9 equals negative 3w. And Ellie, what would be our last step here? And w will equal? Very good. W will equal 3. And we divide. Okay? All right, so that's a review back from Chapter 2. Does anybody have a question on that? It's been a while since we've seen equations. Okay, so now let's take a look at number eight, okay? And what do we do now, okay? You're still going to distribute, that's right, good. Okay, so we're still going to take, but now we're going to be taking an x through <coughs> on both sides. So now, what is x times x? Yeah, x squared. X squared, okay, not x plus x. Uh, All right, x times x is x squared, okay? And then I'm going to take the x times the two and get 2x. Everybody okay with that? Minus 3x equals, all right, and then on the right-hand side here, I've got x times x again, x squared, and then what's x times negative 4? Good, minus 4x, very good, and there you go, plus 5. Okay, so now, again, I drew my wall, we're going to combine like terms first. Is there anything that I can put together on this side? The x is good. The 2 and the negative 3. So what is 2 minus 3? Negative 1. Good, negative 1 x. Now on that right hand side, there's nothing to clean up here. Okay, they're all different. It's just x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay, now for the rest of this chapter only, okay, I'll teach you about this in the next chapter, your x squared should cancel out. Okay, you, sh you don't know how to solve something with a squared yet, okay? So for right now, in this chapter, you should be able to subtract off the x squared or somehow cancel out your x squared and get that to go away. If not, you have made a mistake somewhere, okay? So for right now, your x squared should cancel, okay? All right, so with that being said, since we know that they're canceling, I get a negative 1x on this side and a negative 4x plus 5 on the right-hand side, okay? All right. Malcolm, what would I do now, do you think? Add the 4 x Good. Add the 4x over. So we're going to end up with 3x equals 5. Okay. Talk to you on a little of my last step here, B. Good. Divide by 3. Good. Divide by 3. 
divide by 3. Now guys, you can put this in your calculator. You can do all kinds of stuff. However, a lot of times we just leave it as 5 thirds. Okay, you don't need to put it in your calculator and call it 1.6. You don't need to call it 1 and 2 thirds. If you want to do all that, that's fine, but you don't need to, okay? The only thing I will take, say take a note of is if you have something like 10 eighths, you do have to reduce that to 5 fourths. We do expect you still to reduce fractions, okay? But in this case, 5 thirds as far as it goes, and that's our answer, okay? All right, does anybody have a question for me? Okay, I'm going to give you a minute or two here. I want you to start number 9. Go ahead and start number 9. Okay, go ahead and start us off. What did you do here first? Okay, okay what did you get when you distributed the C? Okay, what about the next guy? What did you get when you distributed that? Negative C squared plus 4C. Very good. Okay, make sure. Did you take that negative along for the ride? Okay. All right, and then on the other side, we've got 9C minus 16. Okay, so before I move from side to side, I need to do some cleaning up here. All right, Diana, what are some things that can combine? C's will cancel out. The C's? The, yeah. The C squared. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. So the C squared cancels. And then you'll have... Um, you two, you'll add uh, 3C and 4C, and then you'll get 7C. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then I still have 9C minus oh, 16 no. on the right-hand side. Does anybody have a question mm -hmm. about that? Hey, guys. Okay. Quentin, what are we going to do now? And what did you get when you did that? Good. All right. And then my last step, Caitlin, will be to do to do what? Uh, divide. And what do you end up with? Eight. Good. Positive eight. Okay. Does anybody have a question on number nine? You everybody doing okay? All right. Go ahead and try number ten now. now. Yeah, okay. I've 
go ahead and start talking about this because this one's a touch tricky, and I think a lot of you guys got to a point and then hit a wall and weren't sure where to go, would be my guess here. Or if you did go somewhere, it was probably wrong. All right, so let's let's see how it went. Okay, Peyton, start us off. What did you do first on this one? Okay, so when you distributed the D on both, what did you get? D squared. Okay, minus 1D, good. Plus 4D. All right, what did you get on the right-hand side? D squared minus 3D. Good, okay. All right, next step will be to do what? Okay, Ben? Good. Combine like terms, right? So I have d squared plus 3d equals d squared minus 8d. Okay, so then what happens at this point? Okay, Ben. The d squared, the d squared. That's right, good. So when you subtract, the d squared cancel out, which we've talked about, that should happen. But then we get to here, and I think some of us did not know what to do because we have d's left on both sides. Okay, anybody got a theory or an idea of what we should do at this point? No. Emma? Subtract the 3d over and put a 0. Yeah, so you still got to get the d's together, okay? It's just now when you do that, there'll be nothing left on that left-hand side, and you have a negative 11d on the right-hand side, okay? So then what would my last step be here, Quentin? You divide by the negative 11 on both sides. Okay, so what is 0 divided by 11? Zero. Or negative 11? 0. 0, that's right. Okay, so your answer is 0. You guys always want to discriminate against 0. You don't want to think that that can be an answer, but it can. It is a number just like everything else. 0 is allowed. Okay? All right, does anybody have any questions about that? Okay. We've got um, about 7 minutes.